Next to a woman who has inherited more than she bargained for. Lisa Donovan moved into her grandfather's house after he passed away recently. But along with the property came some unwanted feral cats. Lots of feral cats. CTV's Kyle Moore has the story. No matter where you look, Lisa Donovan's backyard is littered with cats, both young and old. 10 to 15 cats, from what we see, I mean, that's from what we see, and um, then there's a litter of six or seven kittens. Donovan inherited the property from her grandfather, who died a few weeks back. A couple of years ago, he decided to allow stray cats to take up residence in a shed in his yard. But now this clowder has grown to such a degree, it's taken over a second barn. And to make matters worse, people are also dumping unwanted cats on the property. My mother has actually uh, pulled out a couple of kittens from uh, the fence behind us here. Uh, there's like two fences together and she's actually found kittens stuck in between the two fences. Like somebody has thrown them in there. Maybe they missed, they couldn't get them right over the fence. Carmen Dunn with the Feral and Abandoned Cat Society says they've spayed cats at this residence before and there's only so much they can do. We go in, we fix them, we try to um basically prevent unwanted litters of kittens to stabilize the population and then ultimately improve their quality of life. Although Donovan says she appreciates the society's efforts, it still leaves her with a large number of unwanted felines. She's contacted the SPCA, but they don't deal with feral cats. Meanwhile, Dunn says there is a gap in services for this type of situation. When you have cats that um, are not uh, very social, um, not easily touched or handled by humans. They're not generally suitable for adoption into a home. Um, right now, locally, I'm not aware of, of services or sanctuaries that are available to even try to attempt to relocate. Donovan wants them gone. The smell alone will take your breath away. She's hoping to find new homes for them because they meant so much to her grandfather. But right now, there's no takers and she's at her wits end. Kyle Moore, CTV News, North Sydney, Nova Scotia.